In this video, we'll look at the basic types of structural loading. We'll start with uniaxial loads. In the first diagram, we see tension. Tension occurs when a member is being pulled, meaning the forces act in opposite directions, stretching it and trying to increase its length. A typical example is a suspension bridge, where the cables are stretched due to the weight of the bridge, the cables are in tension. Compression, on the other hand, occurs when a member is being pushed. Again, the forces act in opposite directions, but this time they push the member inward, trying to shorten it. As shown in the diagram, the cross-section of the element tends to increase as it is compressed. For example, columns are in compression because they carry the weight of the slabs, beams, and the structure itself. Next is shear. Shear is like one part of the material sliding over the other. Two opposite parallel forces try to cut or shift the layers of a body relative to each other. A simple example is scissors cutting paper, or a beam under load, which develops shear forces. Now let's move to bending. Bending occurs when the applied forces cause the beam to curve. Think of a wooden plank when someone sits on it, it bends under the load. And finally, torsion. Torsion happens when a member twists around its axis, the applied load causes rotation. Examples include opening a bottle, the drive shaft of a car transmitting torque to the wheels, or twisting a towel to squeeze out water. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like.